What's up, athletes? Today, I'm bringing you a killer six-pack abs workout that you can do anywhere. This routine is perfect for beginners because the exercises are simple, but super effective for burning fat and sculpting those abs. The best part? You don't need any equipment, just your body, the ground, and gravity. So, no excuses. This routine combines fat-burning exercises with ab-sculpting moves. We'll target different areas of your abs, upper, lower, and obliques. Because to get those aesthetic six-pack abs, you need to work every part of that muscle group. And remember, burning the fat layer on top of your abs is just as important as building the muscle underneath. These are the same exercises that got me started, and I still use them today. With the right nutrition and this workout, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced, you're going to get shredded. And the best part? You can do this workout anywhere, so no excuses. All right, let's get into it. Our first exercise is high knee taps. We'll go for 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Ready? Let's go. Number one, high knee taps. Keep breathing and stay focused. This is your warm-up, getting your body ready for those tougher core exercises. High knee taps are a great cardio move to start your workout. Stand in place and drive your knees up toward your chest, tapping them with your hands. Keep your core tight and maintain a fast pace to get your heart rate up. This move not only warms up your entire body, but also starts engaging your core, setting the stage for the rest of the workout. Number two, Russian twists. Legs up, core tight. If you can go fast, challenge yourself. But remember, form is key. Focus on quality over speed. For Russian twists, sit on the ground with your legs extended and slightly bent. Lift your feet off the floor, balancing on your sit bones, and twist your torso to one side, touching the ground beside you. Then twist to the opposite side. This exercise targets your obliques and improves rotational strength, helping to sculpt the sides of your abs. Number three, leg raises. All the way up, all the way down. Keep those legs straight and stay controlled. This move is great for targeting the lower abs. Leg raises are excellent for targeting the lower abs. Lie flat on your back with your hands by your sides or under your hips for support. Keeping your legs straight, lift them towards the ceiling, then slowly lower them back down until they are about six inches off the ground. The key is to control the movement and engage your core throughout, ensuring your lower back stays pressed to the floor. Number four. V-ups form is everything here. Legs straight, core tight. Bring them in, then back out. This one really hits all areas of your abs. V-ups are a full-body ab exercise that works both the upper and lower abs. Start lying on your back with your arms extended overhead and legs straight. Simultaneously lift your upper body and legs to meet in the middle, forming a V-shape. Lower back down with control. Focus on keeping your movements controlled and your core engaged to maximize the benefits. Number five, flutter kicks. This move is perfect for strengthening your core and burning fat, especially in the lower abs. Stay strong. Flutter kicks are another great move for the lower abs. Lie on your back with your legs straight and your hands under your hips. Lift your legs slightly off the ground and alternate kicking them up and down in a fluttering motion. Keep your core engaged and lower back pressed to the ground to avoid strain. This exercise also improves endurance and core stability. Number six, plank knee tucks. We're switching it up with this move to target your abs from a different angle. Keep that core tight. Plank knee tucks target your abs from a different angle while also working your entire core. Start in a plank position with your body in a straight line. Bring one knee up toward your chest, then return to plank and repeat with the other leg. Keep your core tight and avoid sagging your hips. This move helps to engage the deep core muscles and enhances your overall core strength. Number seven, chair sit-ups. This one's tough, but keep going. Engage that core and reach for the ceiling. You've got this. Chair sit-ups are an intense variation of the classic sit-up, focusing on your upper abs. 
Sit on the ground and lift your legs to a 90-degree angle, as if sitting in an invisible chair. Keep your legs up as you perform a sit-up, reaching towards the ceiling. This exercise keeps your core constantly engaged and intensifies the abdominal burn, making it a great move for sculpting your upper abs. Number 8. Seated in and outs. Focus on your form, quality over quantity. If you need a break, take it, but don't give up. Seated in and outs, focus on your entire core, particularly the lower abs. Sit on the ground with your hands behind you for support and your legs extended in front of you. Pull your knees into your chest, then extend your legs back out straight without touching the ground. This movement engages your abs and improves both strength and endurance, especially in the lower abdominal area. Number 9. Jumping Jacks Last exercise. Push yourself. This is where you finish strong. No stopping. Give it everything you've got. Jumping jacks are a classic cardio move that helps to finish the workout strong. Stand with your feet together and arms by your sides. Jump your feet out to the sides while raising your arms overhead, then jump back to the starting position. This exercise elevates your heart rate and helps burn fat, making it a great way to end the workout on a high note and ensure those abs start to pop. All right, that's round one of this six-pack abs routine. Remember, this workout is great for beginners. No equipment needed, just basic but super effective exercises. Stay strong. Thanks, athletes. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.